there are various kind of mixtures present in the casting equipment present in the mold which constitutes near about 70 to 90 percent of the overall composition of the mold and these mixtures generally contain sand with certain additives and binders the first type of such sand mold is what we call a green sand mold a green sand mold is composed of a mixture of silica sand clay and water silica sand constitutes 75 percent of the total composition of green sand mold clay has 15 to 20 percent of composition and water constitutes 6 to 8 percent among silica clay and water clay acts as binder now what is a binder binder is something that binds together the mold that binds together the sand the word green is associated with the green sand mold with the condition of wetness of freshness and because the mold is left in the damp condition next we have the dry sand mold the dry sand mold is actually a green sand mold heated a green sand mold when heated the water that it contains the 6 to 8 percent composition of water it contains evaporates and the remaining sand is what we call a dry sand mold however it also contains 1 to 2 percent of cereal flow and 1 to 2 percent of pitch as additives now additives are the materials that are added in small quantities to the molding sand in order to enhance its existing properties and to impart to its special properties next we have the skin dry sand in skin dry sand the mold is partially dried around the cavity it is generally to a depth of about 25 mm next is loam sand mold loam sand consists of fine sand plus finely ground refractories clay graphite and fibrous reinforcements the percentage of clay in this kind of sand mold is very high it is of the order of even 50 percent then comes cemented bonded molds here the molding sand contains 10 to 15 percent of cement as the binder such kind of mold are very stronger and hard and hence they are very much difficult to break away next we have co2 mold the co2 molding process is a sand molding process in which sodium silicate that is Na2O dot X SiO2 or water glass is used as a binder rather than the clay. After the mold is made, carbon dioxide gas is made to flow through the mold and the sand mixture hardens by the reaction shown here. Here X is near about 1.6 to 4 and most often 2. This particular reaction is very rapid and takes about a couple of minutes which is comparatively very much less than the several hours needed to produce a dry sand mold. Such kind of molds, such kind of carbon dioxide infused CO2 molds can be used for producing very smooth and intricate castings. Next is resin bonded sand molds. In these kind of sand molds, 
The grains and mixture is mixed with thermosetting resins, that is polymers, or an oil such as linseed oil or soybean oil. Next we have cold box mold process. Here various organic and inorganic binders are blended into sand to bond the grains chemically, which imparts greater strength to the mold. This kind of molds are dimensionally more accurate than greens and molds. However, they are very much expensive. And last but not the least, we have composite molds. This kind of molds are made up of more than two materials, such as shell, plaster, sand, with binder and graphite. So out of all these kind of sand molds, the green sand mold is the least expensive. The dry sand core molds have exceptionally good dimensional accuracy. And the carbon dioxide infused CO2 molds can give very high rates of production.